This video will give you practice using your E6B flight computer to calculate wind correction angle, true heading, ground speed, estimated time and route, and fuel burn on your trip. So let's look at the first question. Using the wind side of your E6B, determine the wind correction angle, true heading, and ground speed for the following. True course, 140 degrees, true airspeed, 105 knots, wind out of 170 at 25 knots. So let's look at the wind side of the E6B. The great thing about the E6B, again, is that there are step-by-step step step instructions at the top. This first step is to set the wind direction under the true index. The true index is right here. The wind direction is 170. So we need to line up 170 with the true index. The next step is to mark the wind velocity up from the center point. Okay, I like to slide my E6B so the center is over the 100 knot mark to make it easy for me to mark the wind. The wind velocity was 25 knots, so I'm gonna mark up 25, 10, 25, right there. And I'm gonna draw a line with an arrow to show the wind direction. Okay, the next step is to set the true course under the true index. The true course was given, given to us as 140, 140 degrees. So I'm going to rotate the computer until 140 is aligned with the true index. The next step is to slide the wind velocity mark to the true airspeed. Now it's important to remember you're sliding the wind velocity mark, not the center, not the center, but the wind velocity mark. Okay, the true airspeed was given to us as 105 knots. So I'm gonna slide this wind velocity mark until it touches 105 knots. Okay, so this is 100 knots here, this is 110, so halfway between is 105 knots, okay? The next step is the ground speed reads under the center. So we can find the ground speed by looking at the center and the center is right over, it looks like about 83 knots. Okay, this is 70, 83 knots. And that makes sense because the wind is in front of us, it's pushing us. So if the wind is pushing us back, we're, our ground speed is going to be slower than our true airspeed. Okay, so the ground speed is 83 knots. Next, we need to determine our wind correction angle, and that's the last step. Okay, wind correction angle reads between the center line and the wind velocity mark. So here's the center line. Wind velocity mark is to the right about uh, two, four, six, seven degrees. Okay, seven degrees to the right. Remember when the wind velocity mark is to the right of the center line, we add the wind correction angle. If it's to the left, we subtract. And that makes sense because if I have to point my airplane to the right in order to track on my course, I'm increasing my heading. If I have to point my airplane to the left, I'm decreasing my heading. Okay, so plus seven is my wind correction angle. So now we can add that to our true course to get our true heading. So seven plus 140, true heading is 147 degrees. Okay, so that's how you use the wind side of the E6B to calculate wind correction angle true heading, and ground speed. Next, we need to calculate the estimated time and route, and that um, is given a distance of 64 nautical miles and a ground speed of 103 knots. Okay, so now we have to use the other side of the 6B. Okay. So, what are we given? Ground speed of 103 knots. That means we're gonna travel 103 nautical miles in 60 minutes. So I have to align the 60 minute point, remember the time is always on the inside scale, with 103 knots, okay? We don't have 103, but we have 10, and let's see, 10, 101, 102, 103. So I align the 60 minute point on the inside scale with 
10.3 on the outside scale, okay? And again, we don't have 103 on the outside, so we have to improvise. Next, we, we need to determine the estimated time and route if the distance is 64 nautical miles. Remember, 64 nautical miles, so if we want to look at miles, we have to look at the outside scale and find 64. 64 would be right here, this is 65, this is 70, 64, and we look at the, for the time on the inside scale. And it looks like that would be 35, 36, 37, about 37 minutes. Okay, so estimated time and route would be 37 minutes. Next, use the calculator side of your E6B to determine the fuel used based on the following. Estimated time and route, 27 minutes. Fuel flow, 11.5 gallons per hour. Okay, so again, we need to find 11.5 gallons per hour and line it up with the 60 because we're going to be using 11.5 gallons per hour or every 60 minutes. Okay, so here's 11, 12, halfway between would be 11.5. Okay, now it asks us how much fuel we're going to burn in 27 minutes. Again, find 27 minutes on the inside scale. Okay. Here's 25, 26, 27. Look on the outside scale to find the number of gallons, and it looks like 5.2 gallons is the amount of fuel that we would burn in 27 minutes. And that's how you use the E6B.